Let's talk about your math interview. Okay, so you have a sheet, a PDF that looks like this, where you will record your interview and film these notes later. Really focus on asking good questions. Keep in mind that you want to answer the how, where, when, why questions. This interview must be at least 10 minutes, so you need to find a talker or ask really good follow-up questions. Okay, so you've figured out who you're going to interview. You've gotten their permission to tape them, record them, and it needs to be a talker. I can think of people in my life that this interview could not take two minutes. So make sure you get someone who's um, who really can talk, or you really need to ask more, more than just these 10 questions. All right, so here's a kind of a, an introduction you can say. Thank you for letting me interview you. Basically, I want to know how you use math, both at your job and in the real world. We'll spend about half the time talking about your job and then talk about everyday life. I'll give you some categories that you can tell me about, and at the end, you can tell me if there are other applications we didn't cover. Okay, so the first question is, what's your job? What do you do on a daily basis? You want to find that out about them. You don't write right now, we'll write later. You're going to get a good recording so you can go back and pause and fill this in. Second question. Often knowing math fundamentals are more important than specific formulas or applications. What math principles or general topics help you in your career? If they're having trouble, you can give them prompts like measurement, do you problem solve, do you do finance stuff, probability, and you just get them talking. You know, they can answer quite a bit here. Question three kind of goes along with that. Let's get more specific now. What's one way you specifically use math on your job? Please provide specific examples. They might provide a bunch of examples here. That bleeds into question four. What's another way you often use math on your job? I need at least two big examples, but we can talk many more. So you could have them give you a lot of examples. And not just, you know, one sentence. Have them tell you stories about that. You could come up, find, they probably have some funny stories in there. Question five. Now we're going to shift to how math is used outside your job. How do you use math skills with money? This could include how you spend money, you save money, etc. Let them talk about money for a little bit. Question six. How do you use math in terms of transportation or when you're driving the car? So from getting from point A to point B, how are they using math? Let them tell you several things. Don't help them. Don't let them just say speed limit. That's it. Question seven. Do you have a favorite sport, hobby, or activity that involves math or numbers? Tell me how you use math here. And let them go into detail on that. And you can talk back and forth. You can provide stuff too. Question eight. Can you think of other ways you use math skills or principles in everyday life that we haven't already covered? Sure. Maybe they talk more about cooking or... Um, their yard work. It could be anything. Okay, question nine. We're switching directions a little bit. If you could change anything about your time back in middle school and high school, what would it be? It doesn't just have to be math. Just let them tell you about their experiences. Ask follow-up questions. It doesn't have to be exactly 10 minutes. Not that You don't have to write a whole lot of notes on this, but let them talk. Hear stories. Hear about people's lives. Question 10. What advice do you have for me in my math education? This is a good one. What are, what are they going to say? <laughs> Open up that box of worms here. Question 11 then. And lastly, the big question. What impact does being good at math have on real world living? They'll probably tell you some things they've already talked about. They might come up with something new. Okay. So you're going to do your math interview project. After you finish the interview, you can go back write them down.